Now, a woman has written to an agony aunt for advice on the following dilemma. I have been uninvited from my friend's annual party. This year, she's having her boss and posh people from work. <laughs> I've always done so much for her, and now she is ashamed of me. <laughs> oh. So it's confession time. <laughs> has anyone sitting very close to me ever <laughs> <laughs> treated a friend in this way? OK, look. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let me start by saying this person wasn't uninvited. It was because they weren't invited in the first place. <laughs> Is fast. that different? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just I'm gonna paraphrase here. So I'll set the scene yeah. for you. It's a big milestone birthday celebration for me. I'm not saying what 21. number. Twenty one. Twenty one again. It was one of those, and I wasn't gonna celebrate it. And then my daughter was like, Mummy, come on, you always separate, celebrate your birthday. And this is a big one, so celebrate it. So I was like, oh, OK. So I, a friend contacted me and the friend said, Brenda, I've got you an area. You can have ten people, no more than that. I was like, OK. Oh, my God, dilemma. Who do I invite? I have two children. Two children want to bring friends. That's four people. I have a girlfriend who wants to bring a partner. That's six people. I have me, that's seven people, <laughs> and then I had two other dear friends that <coughs> were just around and I hadn't seen them. So, those were my ten people and we had a really fabulous night. Next day, I got a text from a friend who is a dear friend. I was out for dinner, so another friend had taken me out for dinner for my birthday to celebrate. Lovely. But then I got... I'm very disappointed to not have been able to celebrate with you. I was like... OK, this is a bit of a surprise text. So how did they know? It. Because they'd seen somebody who posted something on social media. I hadn't, but somebody posted something uh, on social media. So the problem. I, was, I wasn't worried about that because I knew what I had done and why I'd done it. And it wasn't a snub as such, but that person messaged me and says, I'm very disappointed not to have been there. And I, when I read it, I actually started crying at the dinner with this other person who knew nothing. I'm crying because I was so upset that the person was upset, but then I didn't respond so because I thought, ooh, I'm not responding to this. Then I got another one saying, no need to stress, it's fine. And I was like... <laughs> I'm not responding to that. And then I got one, no need to reply. And I'm like, right, I'm not replying. I'm right, not going to How reply. long did this go on for, Brenda? <laughs> Let's have a look at this phone. Can you see? It might be the end of the program before no we hear this story. Did you ever respond? Uh, well, no. But, um... <laughs> but because Ooh, I, I couldn't do that. Well, yeah, but the thing was, it's, it's like I didn't respond because... I didn't not invite you because I didn't not want to invite you. It's just the way it happened. Yeah. So why am I going to Do you know respond? what? It's complicated being your friend. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's I, not. I, would, I, would, I would just have caved in before then. I would have caved in. I would yeah. have just yeah. said, OK, let's just clear the air. It's, this is the reason why. Oh, and, and, and if she's really your friend, she'd understand. I don't have to give a reason why. <laughs> it's my see, birthday. I, 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 this I... is like the wedding. If you don't want to come, don't come. <laughs> I've, I've, I've had parties where I haven't invited my very best friend and I haven't told her about it because she's li she lives in the Midlands, blah, blah, blah. And then she's texted me the next day, oh, thanks for inviting me. But it's a, oh, thanks for inviting me. And I, and in, a, in a kind of a... If you'd invited me, I probably would have come. Yeah. But I understand why you didn't, because I live so far away and I probably would have said no. Anyway, it's complicated. But it, she hasn't fallen out as a result of that. But you do, you have different friends and you can't invite everybody all the time. I haven't fallen I, I out the mistake. Person, but I just, you Can know, I just tell my it's... little story now? Oh, Are so we going sorry, to continue Gloria. to talk about your friend on the text? No, no, OK. <laughs> now, I was going to say that sometimes friendship and yeah. business just don't mix. Because years back, um, I had a really lovely friend when I came to uh, London to work. And uh, then it, it turned out she wanted to be my agent. And I was a bit dithering about friendship and mm. work. And the work didn't work out at all. And I said to her one day, face to face, I said, look, I really treasure the friendship. Can we just drop the work bit? Well, honestly, I hardly ever hear from her. Mm. Oh, really? And I thought you that was really sad. It. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a corker for you, actually. This didn't happen to me, but it was somebody I know who had a big party, kind of like you, restricted numbers. It had to be absolutely tight. And she went through her address book to invite, and it was Susan. She wanted to invite Susan, but there was two Susans, and she texted the wrong Susan. <laughs> and so the Susan she wanted there wasn't getting an invite, and the Susan she didn't want there didn't get an invite. So what did she do? She disinvited the Susan. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Even you wouldn't do that, Brenda. <laughs> disinvite. <laughs> I'm inviting you. Invited. You don't oh. disinvite. <laughs> oh. I know that was a good one, wasn't it?